And uh, this today with me is my mom. Oh, Hi, so happy to be here. This is my mom, Emma. Hi, and to all my stitchy friends. Yeah, so she is enjoy She's joining us today. And my mom is um, a quilter, a stitcher, a crocheter, a knitter, um, sewer, any anything. Homemaker. Uh, yeah, homemaker. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Um, and we're here in her beautiful home today because I am visiting my parents in Newfoundland. And I've been here for a couple of weeks, and now we've got all of our touring around done, and we are finally able to make a cross <laughs> uh, a floss tube. So um, I've got lots to share with you today. We've got some starts. Uh, my mom has some whips to share and some stitchy kindness. I have stitchy kindness to share, and um, yeah, and a few new starts for me as well that are coming up. So I'll share that. I have a few shout outs for floss tubers, um, a few new designs that are out from the blue flower that I want to touch on, and um yeah i think that's about it so we'll jump right in all okay, right you're good yeah sure all right no so problem. <laughs> i'll go with my start first and then yeah, uh, maybe you can show yours <clears throat> so this one here is um i don't have the i only have the pattern i didn't bring the book a little booklet along to uh, Newfoundland with me because I didn't want it to get wrecked um, but it is blackbird designs it's called blackbird I'll insert a picture here of what that will look like and this is oh okay probably right here that is um, my progress on it so far so I just started that since I came to Newfoundland this one is stitched on a piece of fox and rabbit fabric that I picked up at Stitch North but I cannot remember um, the name of it. So in my next floss tube, I have the tag at home. Uh, in my next floss tube, I'll talk about it and I'll add it to the notes for the next episode. But this it's like a mustardy color. It's kind of more like like this color probably. It's kind of blowing out in the the light there. But, but that's what I, I have so far. Looks... It's gonna be beautiful. Hey, I just love that. <gasps> oh, I just love it. And it's stitched is that, with. Is that this one, Lisa? Uh, no, that's the visitor. Yeah. That one's oh, okay. a little bit different. But yeah. I like that. I like that material because would that would probably. Yeah, it'll probably be nice, nice in there too, hey? Right? Exactly yeah, we right? got that one coming. Yeah. Um, and this one here is the coal from Weeks Eye Works. So that one is the um, the thread that I'm using for this. There you go, just monochromatic. And uh, I, I absolutely love it. The color is so, so, so pretty. It's so rich, hey? I love that. Yeah, I love it. Yeah, I'll like really it too. Like so that. if I can get it done, I'll leave the other half of fabric for you. You are so you can... a perfectionist. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> just like to do things well. <laughs> yeah, you do. I must say, you do. Yeah, so that was the only new start that I've had. Um, my mom has had a new start. So my mom has predominantly been um, an Ada stitcher up until this point. So when I came, I brought some linen and uh, yeah. even weave and a whole bunch of little goodies for her that she'll share with you after. Um, it's so good. It was yeah. so fun. The guy. Oh, I have a story. The, I have to show your scissors. Oh, I'll, I'll tell that when you. Oh, scissors. scissors. Okay. So yes. when I was coming through um, through customs to get here, not customs, but um, security at the airport security. to get here, yeah. I traveled um, carry on only. <clears throat> so these little jobbies were in in my bag. And then when, yeah, so this is all the little things that I brought for my mom. There's all kinds of little little goodies in there that I can share. Some things that Cheryl made and um, and then I shared forward. And stuff. So it's just so nice uh, to, yeah, to give. I love it. <laughs> but anyway, this, um, these pair of scissors were in my carry-on. So as I was going through security, 
right? They do fit within the limits of the, uh, the Canadian guidelines. But as I was going through security, of course, my bag got pushed to the side and I had to go and wait. And it was late at night and I'm like, oh my God. So he tore apart my whole bag. He took out all of my stitchy stuff. The table was full of things. And then he found these scissors and he was like, oh my God. <clears throat> I was thinking, oh my God, don't take my scissors. Like they're for my mom, right? <laughs> so he, uh, <laughs> he was sizing them up and he measured them and I'm like, Please, you can't take them. I said, those are a gift from my mom. And he was like, okay. And then he let me have them, and I went through. So I was like, when I got here, I said, Mom, these are scissors for you, but I almost went to jail for them. So, you know. <laughs> I, uh, I, I would have been in jail. Oh, you would have been? Oh, oh see, yeah. that's, oh, that's why I have moms. <laughs> they go and get you. Yeah, right. So this is one little bit of stitchy so, kindness. So they're really going to be precious. Yeah, they're precious. Well, looked after. Well, looked after. Nobody's allowed to touch them when they meet. That's right. No like nothing but threads. No, Dad's not allowed to no. take them to the garage. No, no it's not happening. No. 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 So, um, so anyway, we'll start with Mom's new start. So she just started stitching on 28 count even weave. I'm yes. so proud of you just to show your stitching. I, I'm not going back. No, it's no. hard to go back no. after no. you. No. <laughs> You've seen this some of the is... different fabrics. I'll pull in. Mom's a, a working thread girl, so Sarah's did she spot you have a you have a partner here, my mom with a little uh, the hanging threads, but yeah, it's beautiful. But what's this like? This, this is, is the um, little schoolhouse sampler. Yeah, little schoolhouse yeah. sampler. Um, really see by it, yeah. um, Pansy Patch Quilts yeah. and Stitchery. Yeah, it's um, gorgeous. DMC? Uh, no, this one is stitched in um, Roxy oh, Flosco um, Fallow Red. red. Fallow red. red. Well, yeah. I don't I don't get those threads here, so yeah. actually. Um, I got somebody that can. <laughs> She's a dealer. <laughs> <laughs> She's a stash dealer. <laughs> yeah, that's right, exactly. Yes. Mm. But anyway, I definitely, yeah. I, I, this is uh, the I ate a class. I, I enjoy working on that, but uh, this is like. It's just so soft. This is so, right? so good to the hands. It's so nice. <laughs> yeah, and my mom stitches in hand mostly. Yes, she does yes. use a hoop sometimes. Um, but she does also stitch in hand, so yeah. the, the texture is so yeah. nice, right? Um, that was really good. I yeah, like that. you know, for the for the different types of cloth, like you say, it's um, lots of times it's about texture. For me, it's for what I'm stitching on. If it's full coverage, yeah. I am 18 count Ada all the way. If I have a huge monochromatic piece like my Quinto, I'm so grateful that that right now is on yeah. 18 count Ada because it's so easy to stitch. That's but right. I do love the, my favorite I think of all the fabrics that I found is the 32 count uh, Lugana. That's my favorite, oh, the even okay. wave. So, so mom's, that one is stitched on a 28 count. She's just kind of getting used to uh, it, right? But I think the 32 yeah. is even, t it's just tighter and the, the stitches stay. This I was really twice like as big as that. So I've learned, I've also learned to cut it. And yes, to how make, to measure like, uh, fabric. Two pieces out of it, and I six sides it so that it would fray out on yeah. me. So we so showed, I showed her how to do the um, the yeah. fabric uh, calculator. Yes. So then she knows now the stitch count and to go in and because I think you were predominantly stitching um, kits for a while, oh, right? Uh, yes, yes. Yes. And uh, she has a beautiful full coverage dimensions kit done. I'll insert a picture of the, the kit here. Um, but my sister was also home and she gave that one to my sister as a uh, as a Christmas gift. Christmas and gift. it so. is gorgeous. Yeah, she's going to uh, she's going to frame it. Yeah, she's right. going to frame it and have it in her yeah. house. So. But I have this one done. <laughs> it this is, is beautiful. Is yeah, so she has had another finish. Yeah. So we'll show you that one. This is... It is gorgeous. It is so, so pretty. Long dog. Yeah, long this dog is sampler. a long dog sampler. Yeah, called um, Day and Night. DMC trip. Yeah. And it's a even we no, it's a, uh, uh, eight o'clock. Twenty count. Twenty count eight. Yeah. Yeah. That I'm getting used to the different, the different, different yeah. things. Yeah. So this this one. There you go. Yeah. So. It is beautiful. I'll That's just show nice. some of the details of it. It says. Yeah, you go ahead. Um, and the quote it just says Day and Night, Sun and Moon, Air and Light. Everyone must have, and no one can buy. I just I love that quote. I yeah. sent mom this kit, kit it up, I should say. Yes, um, yeah. For, I have it, I have Christmas it there somewhere. Christmas last year? Christmas last year, I think. Yes, Christmas yeah. last year. Yeah. yeah, so some of the little details in here yeah. are so pretty. The back stitching adds so yeah. much. I got a frame. I love the little butterflies the, up here. I think I got that's my put favorite. I got a frame in a frame it and put a, a border around it. Like yeah, it is, so. a little mat. So yeah. I put a mat, mat it and frame it. Yeah. So, uh, I think that was it for... 
for your stitching for now, right? You have a couple I have a, to start. I have start. this one here that I had the threads all for us. Yeah. And that's right. This is uh, this one. Yeah. Right. Oh, there there you go. Get used to the camera. Yeah. Uh, the Blackberry the, Rabbit, yeah. the visitor. Lisa, yeah. Lisa brought me this one home when she came just yeah. a couple weeks ago. Yeah. So I'm going to uh, do this. I, I haven't got the material for it yet. So no. I really don't. I don't know what choice. I, I want to put it on something that the picture itself yeah. stands out. Yeah. And it's probably going to be definitely even weave. I thought I don't know the yeah. color yet. Probably a 32 for that one. Yeah. I would yeah. say. Yeah. yeah. I, I think I don't know what the call for color is. Uh, 32 count platinum. Uh, platinum linen is the call for. So yeah. if you have a 32 count. I haven't tried linen. Work. Although I have a piece. I have a piece of linen that you brought me. Yeah. But I haven't tried linen. But I'm adjusting to the even weave. So. I'll gradually. Yeah, you'll get there, right? This is the squares just get a little tiny bit smaller. On, Once you start getting used to that, like the nine square, the nine square thing, um, yeah. that really, you can go to any, yeah. um, to any camp at that point as long as your eyes can handle it, right? This is all, this is all the colors for us. Yeah, and that's all, all the DMC. Yeah. And this is yeah. uh, complimentary from you know who right here. <laughs> 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 so this pattern, actually, I um, I had a viewer who sent me this pattern oh, for my stitch along, and I made a working copy of it um, just so I could have him passing the stash on to my mom so that she can also join our stitch along. So thank you for sending that along. Um, oh my God, that's terrible. I'll put her name down below. I can't, sorry, I can't think of what it is. Anyway, she sent me this uh, pattern, and um, and now I'm passing the stash to my mom so that she can join too, because uh, at the time, I had a really hard time finding this pattern, and mom liked it, so um, we have one more stitchy friend in the cell now, and, yes. uh, and mom will start that right away. Yep. And, okay, so I'll go through some of my whips, oh, yeah. and, then, um, and then I'll talk about a couple things that I'm going to start. So this one is a Heaven and Earth design. It's stitched on 18 count antique white Ada, again, full coverage piece. And it's called uh, Red Riding Hood 3. And this is from Heaven and Earth Designs. And I have made some progress on this one. I finished the wolf's head. I started filling in some of the stick here. And I came across the bottom and <clears throat> started filling in some of her dress here. That's kind of where I've been working. So she's just so cute. I think she's going on a maybe a project bag or or something like oh, that, okay. but it's dedicated to, uh, right now, to kicking cancer's ass twice, so I'm yeah. pretty happy about it. Oh, yeah. <laughs> you know, slay the wolf, right? It's uh, it's amazing. Take a year to do this, right? Yeah, no, it's, it's um, this is just a fun stitch. It's just so colorful, and there's blocks of colors, and just enough confetti to give definition, but not frustrating. Um, I really, really love it. It's, uh, I'll do that one later. Yeah, it's been really nice. So that's that one. And next I did work a little bit on my Fruits of Plenty. So this is where I'm at on the Fruits of Plenty um, 2021 wow. pattern. This is so nice. Eh? Oh, it's the 32 count yeah. antique white uh, even weave. Um, you know the white patterns are they're going to be passed down to me, right? Yeah, I can pass the stash. <laughs> <laughs> I can pass the stash. Yeah. Um, so what I worked on was up in this corner. I came across the border here. I finished this corner came down and um, started working down here a little bit. So I still have to finish off those flowers and that's probably good. I think I'll do that tonight. Yeah. It might be my it's tonight. Awesome. stitching. Yeah. Love the colors so too. Awesome. Yeah, so I've done a different yeah. conversion on this one. I think I've, I've said this lots. If you've watched my channel before, you've, you've heard this. Yeah. But um, that is supposed to be stitched with uh, two colors and I'm actually stitching it with four. So 924, 738, 400, and 524 DMC. And I just have big long pieces because I just keep going with it when I and when I start stitching, so that's my little rudimentary uh, floss, yeah. floss drop, but it's worked. So. Yeah. <laughs> yep. Um, so those are the four colors for that one. The next one is what? Oh, I, oh, I yeah. absolutely oh, love oh, oh, it. Oh, 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 I promise she's going back, going to light her luggage than when she came. <laughs> I'm going to leave my whip here. I'm not going to say what? The next time I come back, we'll still be finished. I'm not going to say what? goes the way. So this one is from Long Dog, Long Dog Samplers. It's um, Quinto Acuto, and it's got all the arches and everything in the bottom. I'll put in a picture here of what it's going to look like when it's finished. Um, oh, I will have inserted pictures of the other two, of what they're going to look like when they're finished um, for the other two whips. 
where I've been working on this one, let's see if I can fold it up. I came across here, I finished off the whale, like this whole thing is finished now except for some of the back stitching. There's this little back stitching that goes into the butterflies and things here. And then I'm working my way across here to the end. I'm so excited. So there's one more little V that goes in here and, and two pillars. And then I'll have that row kind of done. So that's where I've been working. There's an elephant that goes here that, have, um, that I'll be putting my initials into. But I need to get home with some um, graph paper to grid that out. So that She's got a parcel <clears throat> waiting at home and she can't wait. Oh, I know. <laughs> I ordered something in January and it arrived the day after I left to go home here. So, watch the next one to see what I got. It's going to be so good. Surprise, surprise, surprise. <laughs> yep. So, um, yeah, I'm putting in my initials here, but I'll finish off that square once I get home. So I kind of started moving across, uh, across this way. I just need to come down with a V here. And um, this one is the octopus. I can't wait to stitch that. So I'm kind of rewarding myself. I'm going to get this one finished and I'll go back and come across the little octopus there. It's one of my favorite parts of the pattern. So, yeah, I'm almost there. I am down to... How many stitches is left? 12,000. 12,000. So 12 <laughs> solid days of stitching and this little gem will be finished. I'm yeah. so excited. So how many stitches was there all together? Um, 70,000. Oh. Right. So not yeah. even small. Anyway. No, I think it's like 83, 84% yeah. done or yeah. something on right. a pattern keeper. So that is that one. I'm so excited. Now the next one is another. Are you gonna frame all it? Um, yeah, the bigger ones. I'll definitely frame the Quinto Okudo and the and yeah. the uh, fruits of plenty. The, she, does, she can do her own framing as well. Yeah, the smaller yeah. ones. So that makes it easier. She can't teach me that before she goes back. And yeah. she, oh yes, you well, learned how, some lacing. You, yeah, you learned how to do homemade braces. You can. Oh yeah, yeah. yes. Um, my yeah. mom taught me how to make her homemade bread yesterday. I'm so, yeah, so happy. Like it actually turned out well. And I'm not. I'm a. I'm a cook. I'm not a baker. So. Um, I had, mom had a recipe from my grandmother say it, and it was like one page, one page so maybe three quarters of a page in a, in a recipe book, right? Yeah. And I had looked at it before and I'm like, I can't make it from that. Like, I'll, I know there's more parts to it than this. So when I came home, I, um, I said, mom, teach me how to make bread. So we went yesterday and we spent the whole day maybe. making bread and I made four solid pages of notes on what to do <laughs> and how to make this recipe. But now it would be perfect now. But now I know how to do it. But her bread turned like... <laughs> Oh, Delicious. So we got a pan down already. I know. It's eating <laughs> already. I know. It's just like disappearing. I woke up and Dad was like, "Ooh, your bread is good." <laughs> now she says she's going to make another loaf to another rising now to take into her daughter Abby in St. John's. When yeah. We're going on yeah. And her boyfriend Brandon. So, yeah. Her boyfriend. Um, yeah. Hi, Abby. I love you. <laughs> but we'll definitely be making some more on Monday, and then we're heading off to St. John's for three days, um, yeah. just to hang out with her a little bit while she's working and yeah. uh, get her ready to go back to school for her yeah. third year. And in engineering I'm so oh, time is flying she has I have the wonderful flying. wonderful grandkids I gotta say Caden and, and Abby oh they are wonderful Caden is, Caden is 16 and Abby is uh, will be 21 in December yeah and Claire and, and Anna so. are are gems too. and They're, I have uh, yeah. I have two beautiful daughters actually and Lisa and yeah. Lori is in Nova Scotia yeah. and she's working with the uh, with the, the military through mm -hmm. the cadet system. Yeah. And that, yeah. yeah. Excellent. So, yeah. yeah. My world. Yeah. <laughs> right? Oh, yeah. 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 So, um, this is the next one. So, I have... So much for bread, she said. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it was nice to make bread. <laughs> I just wanted to be four hours. <laughs> yeah. 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 One thing to do. Nice. All right. Um, so, this one is long back samplers. I'll put a picture here of what it's going to look like when it's done. And um, this is Castles in the Air. I am absolutely loving, loving, loving stitching I love on the, this. I love the color. The color is beautiful. She, brought, so, she Actually, she brought me a piece of blue that was dyed. And she actually dyed it her own self. Yeah, I've been trying yeah, to do it herself. just for myself. I would never start the whole time. No, thing. no, I, no. I'm not just good just, at it. Just, <laughs> just try it. Yeah, see. yeah exactly. Because yeah. everything she comes across, she got to learn how to do it, right? Yeah, exactly. So. <laughs> Excuse me. Uh, so this beautiful gem of fabric is from my friend Charlene, um, and her business is The Grateful Thread. I'm not sure if you can see some of the green tones that are in this, but it is perfectly modeled. I, I absolutely love it. It's a piece of 28 count um, linen, 
And here's my progress so far on that one. I have been working more over on this side. So I put in most of this corner. I rounded the corner, put in that flower, I put in this castle, all, all since I've left to come on vacation. So it's been pretty pretty productive on this one. It's um, it's easy to see, it's monochromatic. So between this and my Quinto, I think that's the most that, I've been, so. yeah. that I've been stitching on. This is also the thread that I used for this one. And um, if you watched before, you've heard this, but this is um, Sanjo silk, handmade silk out of Vancouver. And it's like butter, isn't it? Yes, she, just so she brought me a, some a new thread too. Yeah. This, uh, that's what I'm stitching. Uh, With them, yeah, yeah exactly. With this is so, 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 so pretty. So um, we're going, I'm actually, when I leave here, um, on the 25th, I'm flying to Vancouver, straight to Vancouver. I'm not going back to Edmonton. And I'm going to meet my husband and um, our two stepdaughters. And then uh, Kaden was with me. And we're taking them to a concert in Vancouver for the weekend yeah. before we fly home. So um, that's going to be super fun. I can't wait to see them. Paolo yeah. has been in Italy with his parents for um, for the last two weeks. He's flying home tomorrow to Edmonton, and then they're going to the three of them are going to meet us in Vancouver. So I have totally enjoyed being here, and I also <coughs> very very much miss Paolo. We're we're definitely connected oh, yes. at the hip most of the time. So. Yeah. Uh, I definitely miss him. Yeah. And the next trip, he's coming. At oh, absolutely. Oh, this well, was circumstance. You're, you're, you're coming. Yeah. Oh, no. of course. Yeah. yeah. This was circumstance where he he hadn't seen his parents in. Um, they both came to visit us, but he hadn't been to Italy in five years because of the pandemic, and I hadn't been here in in a long, long time. So we um, we divided and said, okay, we're going to do this for a couple of weeks just to be able to see both see both of us see our parents this summer um, because we only had a limited window where we could do it, and then. Yeah. Um, but I think this is the first and the last trip stuff where we're, we're not meant to be apart. So. <laughs> we're not. Um, no. We, I don't think, Eli, my husband Eli, yeah. I don't think we've ever been apart. No. No. Not no. for, well actually when I moved out with you. Oh yeah, yeah. Mom yeah, came it, when we because, moved to Alberta because I needed, um, at the time I was working and I needed yeah. childcare. And there was, there was a two year wait list for daycare at the time and the kids were small. And uh, my mom very graciously packed up and flew across the country and looked after we only kids. Stayed, we only stayed for 10 years. I know. Like, <laughs> <laughs> I know. And they stayed and it was great. It was so nice. Oh, I so miss my yeah. move yeah. back. So, yeah. yeah. But that was the only time. That was, and actually the separate, Eli was only a couple of months. A couple of months. He yeah. Had to finish up his work. He had a business here that he was working. Yeah, yeah exactly. Yeah, came so, out. yeah it was a not much notice type well, no, of thing. No, well, notice it was overnight. Notice, yeah, because right? I and we had a nanny and <laughs> and that did not work out. <laughs> <laughs> That's a story for another day, but that did no, not work out, people. No. <laughs> and um, and my mom just uh, said, of no, no, no. Right. I said I'm coming. That's yeah. yeah. So thank you. No See, problem. This is what we do for our kids. Yeah, yeah. that's right. Um, well, I'd like you. What do you do for your two? Like oh, I'd go to the end of the earth for them. There's no question. Um, Okay, thank you, Tom. <laughs> <laughs> you see how we chat, right? Yeah, right. Um, so this one is um, from Ink Circle. It's called Circus Caro, uh, Circus of Squares. And this one is stitched on the 32 count antique white uh, even weave. And this is all with one thread. So um, I'll put in a picture of what it's going to look like here look for the thread. This one is um, a Valdani thread. It's called. Deep waters, and that's the thread. It comes in a bottle like this. I have I don't know five or six of these because I was afraid I was going to run out. So <laughs> because it's a pretty big project, it is. It actually yeah. fills almost this yeah. piece, right? It's pretty. It's going to be pretty big. Um, but I absolutely love, 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 love how this is turning out. You can kind of see how the stitches uh, that's on are raised. They're bumpy, hey? They're going to feel them. Yes, so I was. Uh, Really, yeah. really taken with us. Cause, yeah, it's you know, so nice. The texture of them are beautiful. Now, when you stitch with the Valdani Pearl Cotton, yeah. you're not going to have exactly defined stitches on 32 count. If With the Pearl Cotton, if you want a little more that you can see your stitches and it's not as tight, then you would go to a 28 count. Yeah. Um, but this one comes out like a tapestry. I just love how it feels. It felt like it was beads on it. Yeah, yeah, okay. right? Yeah. 
Oh, Deb's going again. Oh, <laughs> Deb's going again. Going in the dark, yeah. <laughs> yeah. So anyway, that's where I am. And on this one, I worked. Um, it was just a little bit. I think I put in two or three threads right here. I finished off this border, and I put in that little um, little one here. So I haven't worked on this one a lot since I you were come back. So I'll try to finish. So uh, yeah, I can stitch two-handed. Um, when I have my stand, I don't have my stand here with me, uh, but I can normally stitch pretty fast. Yes, you came with a backpack. Yeah, the carry on. Oh, <laughs> it's easy. It's easy. Air Canada, no lost luggage. No. Anybody that's has flown with Air Canada knows. Yeah. Um, oh, this was another new start for me. Actually, I just found it in the wood pile there. Um, I'll put in a picture here of what it's going to look like. And this, because I don't have the, the little book with me, I have it at home. But this yeah. is Blackbird Designs, and it is uh, Strawberry Fields Forever. I did get a tiny little start on the border. I'm going to try to work on this one again today, too. What's that on, Lisa? This one is on a, um, this again is 32 count uh, even weave. I just, I went back and forth on the fabrics for this one. I had it picked out, uh, three or four. It actually delayed me starting it by a few days because I couldn't decide what to put it on. It's perfect for them colors. But though. when I pulled out the white, I said, no. And it's so easy to stitch on. It's my birthday. Um, this was a birthday start. So, um... If you want to join along and stitch along for this one on Instagram, I still need to post myself, but it's um, hashtag Lisa's Blackbird Birthday Sal, and you can join in on that one. So I just do have a little bit of the border done, and I'm really looking forward to focusing on this one. It requires that border. I don't want to make mistakes, and it does require some um, some focus, and we've been pretty busy here, people yeah. coming and visiting and things, so <clears throat> um, I haven't had this one out a lot because I don't want to make mistakes on it. Plus the beach. Yeah, we've been at the beach lots, oh, and yeah, I'll try to insert some pictures at the end yeah. of um, of where we are, just so I can yeah. show you some of the ocean pictures that we've gotten. And um, this is my last whip. Uh, this is all of the projects that I brought with me on on the trip, and I have worked on all of them so far. So I'm pretty yeah. I'm pretty happy with that. Um, I see the light on it underneath your door, like. I know I'm still in Alberta. <laughs> I'm still in Alberta time, people. Yeah, I've been stitching until 1:30. Two in the morning and then getting up at like I don't know nine thirty yeah. ten o'clock sometimes. But I'm yeah, like quiet here. Yeah. Yeah, it's so quiet. It's so <laughs> nice. It's just yeah. late into the night and yeah, it's been really really nice. So this one is um, I'll put a picture of it here. Here there we go. And um, this one is Summer Quaker by Lila Studio. And this one is on a piece of forty count um, Bridal. So it's an even weave. And I'm working on the center part. I can move my coffee. <clears throat> I'm working on the center part of this. And where I've been stitching, I've come across with the green grass here. I'm working on this uh, little house here. And I've put in the boat and the sails. You can't see a lot of the stitching that I've done because it's in the 3865 white. So, but it is progressing. I'm keeping up with that. I think I'll go back and fill in the, maybe the gray whale tonight or watching a movie or something. So that's where I am now. There's a note for this one that I haven't heard a lot of people talk about, and there are a lot of people stitching this. So once you get up here, there's like a, all around this outside, there's a kelp border. So I'll put the picture in here again, just so you can see what I'm talking about. All around the full coverage piece, there's, um, there is a kelp green border. There is a correction for this on the Leela Studio um, website. So if you look on the border, and it's probably right about here somewhere in the pattern on pages three and four there's a misprint in the border so she has uh, one of the kelp only has four stitches and it should have five or something like that but it's pretty evident when you look at the correction so if you are stitching this and you've come across to the spot where you're going to do the kelp go and look on Lila studio website and get that correction she's posted pages three and four of this pattern in order to um, to put the correction in place. So just so you don't get messed up, if you're putting in the words and, and counting off of your border, it won't work if you don't follow that correction. So that was something important to remember. There was actually a lady that came up to me at the Stitch and Sash Retreat in Edmonton and said, oh, you're stitching that. I just heard that there's a correction for that. Make sure you go and look. So I wanted to pass on that news too to make sure everybody kind of had that. And I, I thought about it the other day when I got up to that point. I said, oh, I haven't heard anybody talk about that. I better, um, I better say, because I know, um, uh, Laura from Stitching by the Shore. Hi, Laura. <laughs> um, she is probably up to this point. I think she's kind of right around there and, and going to be starting in. So, um, And she's hosting a stitch along for this. So it's Summer by the Shore. Hashtag Summer by the Shore, Sal. And, um, 
Samantha the Hugest Pitcher is also hosting her birthday style. So it's called Live in the Sunshine because <clears throat> that's the quote that goes across the top of, oh, this, uh, this. of this piece. Oh, okay. Yeah. And again, I don't have the yeah the thing here because I didn't take all my paper copies. I just took working copies of everything, so I only have the pattern, so I can't really show it. But um, but I will have a picture posted here for it. All right. So that is all of my whiffs. Did you want to go through your stitchy kindness? The things that I brought for you? Mm. It was so fun. Mom was like a kid in a candy store. She couldn't even make it home before she opened it in the truck on the way home. Yes, so, I had to. Of course. <coughs> um, Chris. I can't buy <coughs> a present in this house for no. Christmas time because I'll find it. Oh, yeah, she will find it. There's oh, no, uh, no question. I, oh, do you know what? We'll, we'll break for a minute here. Uh, no, I just had a package delivered. Yeah. I have to go get us a hand. I've been waiting for this all. I know. <laughs> Maybe she can model it as her new sweater. <laughs> Not even mine. Well, that was a bummer. <laughs> that was a bit of a disappointment. My but, mom... Yeah, uh, he, had, he had a parcel coming through. So. Yeah. So my mom, um, I have sweaters from the Aran Islands um, well, Sweater Company. I think that's the name of it. Aran Islands Sweater Market Aaron in Island Dublin. Sweater. So it's the only wool that I can wear. I'm allergic to wool. Um, and I have four of these beautiful, beautiful sweaters. I'll put a, a link here for their... Um, it's not about stitching, but if you enjoy knitting and you like knit sweaters, these are absolutely fantastic. So I wore my blue one um, home this time because they're wonderful for the beach, and they, if they get wet, they dry right away. Mm -hmm. And uh, <clears throat> and my mom saw it, and she's like, oh, I need that sweater. So my mom went online, of course, and ordered the blue the blue hoodie wool sweater from mm -hmm. Dublin, and that's what she thought was going to the door because it's supposed <laughs> to be delivered today, and it ended up being... Oh. Um, Stupid envelope for mail for an envelope from a dad. <laughs> so it was yeah, way less exciting than we thought it was going to be. We almost had a fashion show here. We would have modeled it. But uh, <laughs> 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 yeah, right. She's probably not me. Oh, okay. But back to the stitchy goddess. Yes. So. <clears throat> this is the yeah. bag. I'll show the bag afterwards. Yeah. What's, what's in it? I know. It was very, very, very. Can I read? Yeah. I'll, I'll yeah, have yeah. a few. You, no, you okay, read. you go for it. Okay. Really, at least yeah, I have the mild strong. liners uh, so, highlighters. So, so, so these ones are fantastic. If you yes. haven't tried mild liners yet for marking off your paper patterns. Oh, I love it. I was using a pen. Yeah, right. Oh, they are beautiful. They come um, in different colors. They have a wide one if you have big block colors, yeah. and they have these pointy ones. And as soon as they mark in the paper, they dry. And so, they don't block uh, out the, the, the stitch either. No. Like a pin block blocks out the stitch. Yeah, it's just a little highlight. Really in case you light color. Or something. Yeah, right. If you've got a backtrack, you can. Which exactly. And the first time, I usually go and I'll yes. go with a light color. And then if I've had to pull something out, I'll go back with a darker color. And then the darker color yeah. again to color over it. So. Um, <clears throat> so, anyway, these are the mild liners. I'm sure lots of people have tried these. I'm not affiliated with these people, I just love them. So um, this is going to be this yes. one is all. This one this one has a story. So this one, um, my friend Cheryl, and I wanted to share this love with my mom, Cheryl. I hope you don't mind. But my um, uh, my friend Cheryl has a business, and it's called uh, Creations by Cheryl. So that's her little tag, and she made me a a bag that ma a project bag that matches this. Oh. And then she gave me the thread that bed that goes with it. So that that's. Yeah, that's part of the set, yeah. right? But my mom, I knew my mom would love these colors. I, I just when I saw it, I said, yeah. "Oh, I think that's that that's mom." So, um, Cheryl, I hope you don't mind, but I did pass this along to my mom Thank to you. share with her, and I knew that she would just absolutely, absolutely love it. I, I love it. Yeah, I love sharing my stash and the things that I have, and um, yeah. this has a beautiful home here now. My mom is so happy to get it. Oh. So I did pass that one along. Yes. Um, so now I have the bag, and she has the little thread bag. And these. Yeah, those ones are prairie schoolers. So yeah. they, my mom likes um, likes stitching things for Christmas. I'm not such a big Christmas stitcher, <laughs> even though Jean, you you've kind of wrangled me into it now because you did a uh, the stitch and stash retreat yeah. coming up in Edmonton uh, next June, in oh, 2024. Okay. Could be it. Yeah. Mom's gonna come. If, if I yeah, I've committed you. You're coming. <laughs> right? We're to we're Jean, right? Yeah. She's coming. So. Um, Jean made the theme for this Christmas in June, and I'm sure she chose that just so that I had to stitch Christmas. 
<laughs> I'm kidding. I'm kidding. Oh, no. with it. I'm kidding. No, um, <laughs> they love Christmas and uh, Halloween stitching. Anyway, I got these three at the freebie table oh. in the Stitch North um retreat in ontario this year so i picked these up and i said oh my gosh these st these prairie schoolers are beautiful and sometimes they're actually hard to find they're this is 2007 2009 and 2010. you said it was more and was yeah there's a whole set so they make one every year and put okay. it out uh, the one for this year had the snow uh, santa with snow all around it says oh it it's like snow one. it's pretty you go on on that? Yeah, one two three stitch has, oh, okay. has all of these oh, things. Yeah, so I've introduced my mom to the dangerous rabbit hole of uh, one two three stitch. <laughs> <laughs> that five dollar shipping is dangerous. I could, I could have more parcels come to the door. I know, I know. <laughs> but anyway, so these are the three that she has: the 2010 Santa, and the 2007 Santa, and the 2009 Santa. So, um, did pass the stash on that for yeah. mom. Excellent. Yeah. Now, this is a. Oh, this is a book here. Mm. I got this one at the. Um, I bought it because I really like the, the colors on it. It's from Tiny Modernist. And it's called the Armchair Pincushion. And it was finished there on the table at Stitch North at oh, the okay. retreat in, yeah. in, uh, in April. That's nice. It is gorgeous. Yeah. But when I got home, I started thinking about it and I'm like, I don't have a chair that that's going to fit on. Because you know the way my couch is, it has the big yes. wide um, oh, yes, um, wooden... Yeah. You'd, have um, the, you'd have the double F pattern there in the middle. Yeah, yeah. Like, exactly. And just make a pin cushion or something, yes, right? It was there. Yeah. But I did still like all of the little But I will do that for a pin cushion. Right? But I thought that this would be nice because Mum does sit in an armchair um, for her stitching. So I thought that this would be a nice one to pass along Excellent. to her. Yeah. yeah. So I did buy that one. I haven't stitched it, but... Uh, you haven't stitched that one, no. No. Or the prairie schoolers, I haven't stitched those. Oh yeah, and this one is a hoop, near and dear, um, our little stretchy wooden hoop. I can't get those, so, but I can order them. Yeah. But you generously gave me that one. Yeah, I brought two with me because I was afraid one was going to break. Um, so I did bring two of these along, and my mom actually really enjoyed it. It's easy to get in, the thing stretches. I think um, Shiloh from X-Stitch MD recommended these, and I picked them up at um, Tripunto, is the quilting store that's next to my house in Edmonton, and they were $4.49 for this Canadian. So they're pretty affordable, and it's my favorite hoop. Honestly, it's my favorite one that, I sti that I've stitched with. So, um, and my mom liked it too, so I left that one for her. I think you had, did you have the scissors out? Oh, yeah, we did have the scissors. This is, um, again, this is the case. It's from Creations by Cheryl. I bought this one at, um, at the Stitch and Stash Retreat. Cheryl had a at a table there, so I bought a whole bunch of these. And each pair of my scissors now has has one of these little cases. They're pairs. absolutely beautiful. Um, off here. Yeah, so I put <clears throat> put it in the case. I made this little scissor fob for my mom. I made that one. And then these scissors came from a Jen store at uh, Cues the Button Needle Minders. So I'll put in a little picture of her logo here and I'll put her information below. And um, she has beautiful um, you know, funny sayings on needle minders and things, and then she has all of these beautiful, beautiful scissors. If you want nice scissors, that's the place to go and um, and look. Right now, I think she only ships within Canada, I believe, unfortunately. So, um, what's the store we're going to visit going in town for the fabric that they dyed? Oh, I don't know. It's not actually a store. That's um, they just they dye it from there. That's Brin and Needle from Patty and uh, Cheryl. So I was telling. I have some of their things here. Hang on, somewhere. I have a piece here. Oh no, 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 yeah. no I don't. I've got it So this is Brin and Needle, yeah. and that's Patty and Cheryl in St. John's. So I mentioned that if we had time, maybe um, if, I don't know if I can meet up with Patty and them now. I haven't contacted her, but <clears throat> but she does have um, beautiful, beautiful threads, and this one's called the Danny Gordon, um, and it's all Newfoundland. Yes, you can order online. Yeah, and you can order online from their from their website too. So. Okay. Yeah, they have a floss club and a fabric club, and um, this is just so 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 cute. I, yeah, so this, this one <clears throat> it's so cute. It's an art holder, and it's and you so just pop it. Yeah, so easy. You just yeah. pop it out and twist <clears throat> it. Yep. At least I'll have to give you the story on it because I'm not sure. Yeah. 
So this one I got in my swag bag at the Stitch and Stash retreat. I already had a couple of at home. So I um, I knew mom would like these colors, so I passed this one on to her. <clears throat> and um, I can get these at the Stitching Corner in uh, Cochrane, Alberta. So what happens, <clears throat> they're hand, all handmade, uh, little Pringles cans, actually. I think a lot of people have probably seen these. But they make them and then donate the money. They sell them for five dollars at the cash. Oh, They're nice. just you pay cash for them. Yeah. And then they donate that money to um, a charity within the Cochrane community, the food bank or oh, the girl awesome. guides or something like that, excellent. right? Yeah. Because so every time I go into the store I pick up I usually pick up one of these. And then there was one in the um, this the swag bag. For a stitch and stash retreat so if you're interested in coming to the stitch and stash retreat in june um there is a facebook page for that and jean cartwright and kelly are the um, administrators for that site and you can reach out to jean within that uh, facebook group and if um i can probably put jean's email down below too if you don't have facebook you could reach out to her there's about i think 150 spots jean you can correct me if i'm wrong but i think it's about 150 this year <clears throat> that will be opened up for people to come stitch and it's at the uh, the last weekend in June of 2024 okay. so you know book your tickets and come right my mom you will never be know you be can come to the retreat and meet my mom See? <clears throat> so um so these this is an example of what was in the stash bag it was incredible I'm I made 125 needle books to put in last time um our friend Donna um Kelpie's mom she made these beautiful flower uh, crocheted um, dishcloths. She oh, made a yeah. hundred. She, she crocheted 125 of those. Yeah, I you started, could not believe it. You started to <clears throat> crochet. No. Oh, started. I did start a crochet yeah. this time too. Yeah, I picked up yeah. a ball of wool and started a. Um, I know how to crochet, but I started to make um, a dishcloth to keep my hands busy. And yeah. Um, yeah, so these are some of the things that are in the swag bag for that retreat. It's fantastic it's all handmade things and Jean and Kelly have done a fantastic job of um, gathering vendors and um, yeah. yeah so definitely look that up and see if you want to go in in uh, June so. and this this one is a real thing I oh I could, yeah I could I cannot find those around here yeah so these are even in a little special little bag can you show it yeah Oh, this is uh, tight. It's really pretty, isn't it? Oh, I love it. Love These it. are from uh, Rocky Mountain Needle Miners. This is Karen DeRoche from uh, Canmore in Alberta. And she was at the Stitch and Stash retreat as well. So that's where I picked those up. And um, you can see the little hummingbird. Yep, yeah, just stay still. There you go. That's beautiful. It's beautiful. It's so sparkly. It. Yeah. And, and then the other one, I'll yeah, pull that off. Yep. Yeah. And then this yes. one is the other little a mini peacock one. So my mom um, stitches in hand and on a hoop. So this one is good for stitching. The smaller one is good for stitching in hand. Okay. Because <clears throat> it's lighter. Oh, there's a small one right? too. It's a small one. Yeah. Oh, so it's this, this two. Yeah. I didn't realize that. Yeah, that's one, and this is two because there's two separate okay. magnets. Yeah. Okay, and you got a magnet on that one too. So. Yeah. So you can oh, use okay. them as, uh, as two. Good. Yeah, I don't think you had them pulled apart before. No, I didn't. No. Yeah. They do just stick together in the Beautiful. bag. Beautiful. Love it. Yeah. Love it. Yeah. And then, um, yeah, I brought some fabrics. Now she brought fabric, and I'm just going to pass it, and she's going to talk oh, about it. Sure. This is a piece of a 32 count um, antique white Lugana. So this is the other half of her piece that she started the little schoolhouse sampler on. Yes. Which I brought for her. No, sorry, 28 count. This one. And uh, I brought predominantly Ada for my mom this time because I thought. Um, I didn't know if she was going to like stitching on the even weave, so I did. There is a lot of Ada here, <clears throat> but I'm sure we'll find lots of things to put on it. So okay. This is Ice Blue 16 count Ada, and this one is a huge piece of finished. 18 count. Oh, this um, like a, if Ada. I get a full, full, full coverage, you will definitely use this. One. This is a full yeah. yard of 18 yeah. count. I was um, wondering if that uh, the visitor would be nice on that. Oh, yeah, this is a, an 18 count platinum from Zweigart. That would be nice. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. You might have to change out your 712. The one of the colors. Yeah, the beige might not show up. Yeah. And this is uh, This is a little Mystic piece Mystic yeah, of um, Mystic Grey, Ada from Zweigart. And yeah, <coughs> and this is a piece of 28 count casual linen. I'm going to try it. Yeah. I've never used it. This will be the same as, as your other one, except it just has a little slub. So your 
stitches aren't quite as okay. And you have to be very careful. What she's learning is that you have to be very careful with your tension on the um, on the even weave and linen more so than on the eight. Yes, and I've learned right? that since Lisa come. Yeah. The two, so, uh, not to pull too tight, right? Yeah. I, I had a tendency with the uh, eight o'clock. I was pulling the tape, pulling it, and, yeah. and you could, but with the, the even or even with the linen, like you were saying, you yeah, can't, you can't yeah. pull it. And so. this one is a Zweigart. I cannot remember the name of it. I think it's slate gray or light gray, or I, I can't remember the name of this one, but it is a light gray color. And, and of course, the pack of needles. Oh, every every thing to travel with a pack of needles. Everybody got to travel with. I have emergency needles. packs of needles <laughs> stashed everywhere. I have them in my purse. They're in my little fanny pack. They're everywhere. So. And Lisa can tell you about the bag. Oh yeah. It is gorgeous. This is a bag. I just love it. Yeah, this is a bag that I purchased at um, the Stitch and Stash Retreat as well from my friend Cheryl. Hi Cheryl. <laughs> and I thought my mom would absolutely love this one. So I put that one aside for her when I got home and started filling it with all these goodies because I knew I was coming yeah. uh, to Newfoundland. So this one is made with Blackbird um, Designs Fabric, Sampler Fabric. It, it's glorious. So if you... Um, <laughs> A little work. <laughs> uh -huh. Yeah. Yeah. If you want beautiful bags, I, you know, reach out to um, reach out to Cheryl. I'll put her contact information below. She doesn't have an Etsy store, but she does just go by her email. And if you um, if you want beautiful bags, that's she's just so fantastic at it. So, okay. So that was the stitchy stash. That's that's my uh, collection. Yeah. <laughs> Um, <clears throat> all right, so there's a couple of other little things for um, from floss tube number 11. I did a giveaway, but the last my last video, number 12, this is floss tube number 13, and we're recording on um, August 16th. So sorry, I didn't say that right in the beginning, but um, I'll just leave that there. You go, because it makes lots of noise. There we go, and um. The uh, I didn't get to do the giveaway because I didn't have it with me when I went to uh, Golden. You remember number eleven was the Canadian, uh, number twelve was the Canadian Rockies edition of my floss tube channel. So the giveaways for floss tube number eleven will be done here now, and I have a picture here. I'll put it in of the bag, the project bag that I am giving away, and uh, that one is also made creations by Cheryl. Cheryl donated that one to my channel as a giveaway. So thank you for that, Cheryl. Somebody will be the, the lovely winner. Um, and for the bag, this is the winner. It's IB Stitchin. So congratulations. Um, the bag will be shipped out to you as soon as I get home. I won't be back until August 29th. Um, so between now and then, just give me, um, send me an email with your address below. Uh, my, <coughs> sorry, my email is below. And um, as soon as I'm home, I'll package that up and send it off to you. So it'll be out um, in two weeks. I'll be able to ship it when I get home because I don't have the bag here with me. And um, the other giveaway that I wanted to do was for um, a happy mail. So this is just for one of my viewers that I wanted to send off a happy mail to somebody. And the keyword for that one was happy. And the winner is here, Sandra from Sydney. So congratulations, Sandra. If you're watching, um, again, send me an email. Um, my email is below. And uh, just send me your address and we'll be able to... Uh, to send that out to you. So that's a little surprise happy meal that will come that will come to you. I have a little bag put together for that. It is a surprise. You never said what was in it. No, no, it's just oh. a happy meal. Just a thank you for people watching. Yeah, and that's nice. Yeah, you just use the word happy. Yeah. So um, the next thing I wanted to do was to talk about a few floss tubers. We'll give a few shout outs. My mom also watches floss tube, so I've introduced her to a oh, few yes. new people, yeah. and yeah. Uh, and she loves watching and supports the community. Um, I think it's a joy to, under, to see how this community comes together when people post their videos in the comments, and it's just so lifesaver for you. Yeah, it has yeah, honestly, yeah. It, literally, it's yeah. been <laughs> it's been fantastic. This yeah. community is just so supportive. Thank you all for the wonderful comments and support you all given Lisa over the yeah. last couple of years. Yeah, it's it's fantastic. The support yeah. that Paul and I have gotten together. Oh, and Paul, I mean. He's my rock. He's honestly. amazing. Honestly, He's amazing. We all love you. Yeah, I could not ask for better. Yeah. <laughs> honestly, yeah. I miss you, honey. <laughs> yeah. yeah. So, um, but I will do a few shout-outs now for um, for some floss tubers. So, um, 
the pink stitchers if you have not watched the pink stitchers yet um, it's a mom and two two daughters that um, they're the pink stitchers because all three of them actually have um, have had breast cancer and are in different stages uh, so Chris is the mom and Erica and Jamie and they are just a hoot I, I kind of always bop along to their intro music and they yeah. they have wonderful um, they always have a nice drink mixed up, and they're just so fun. They always tell jokes, and yeah, we, we listen yeah. to them. Oh, oh yeah, it's so they're so so fun. So, uh, the pink stitchers go and have a look and see what they're stitching. I think they have three or four videos out now, so they're they're doing great. Um, so hi, Chris and Jamie and Erica. <laughs> I love watching you. Um, another one is was recommended to me by Sue. So hi, Sue. She's one of my viewers, and um, her daughter Hannah has started a um, has started a floss tube channel. She has seven videos now, and but she was new to me. I hadn't seen her before, and she's actually a microbiology PhD student that um, that's working towards her her doctorate. And um, she has some beautiful projects. In her last video, in number seven, I just watched. Uh, she has finished the gifts from my garden um, from Hello from Liz Matthews. And do you remember? Wow. It was it was yes. stunning. Yeah. It was stunning. I Beautiful. I cannot wait. I want to stitch that now. Um, I had seen it and I'm thinking I I love it. I don't know how I would finish it because it's an oval. But she has found this ornate antique black frame. That was that, beautiful. Oh my gosh, Hannah is gorgeous. It, it is going along. Brilliant job on the finishing yeah. and. Um, and she's also from one of her first videos. I found a new um, a new pattern that I hadn't seen before. And it's called the Scarlet House: A Perfect World, and it has a, I'll put a picture here of it. It has a beautiful um, quote on it. So I you know that's that's totally enabling me to go and try and find that one. So hi Hannah, I just wanted to say hi to you and your mom Sue, and um, thanks for putting up lovely floss tubes. And um, and Sue, thank you for the recommendation. She's added to my subscribe list now. So. Um, there's another one, the Richter Stitcher, Linda. Um, Linda has been sending me so many nice messages the whole time, uh, going through my surgery and everything. I just wanted to say hi. And she actually has some really neat um, videos out. She's following along with, I keep looking down for notes, sorry, but um, a challenge from the Fanciful Flamingos, Alicia, on Facebook. So she has a group that has put out a craft room challenge. So what she's doing is recording a video and she... Um, 15 minutes a day she goes in and cleans up her craft room and talks about oh, what she does so the challenge is wonderful yeah. right yeah. so you know just pull out a drawer and you clean one thing up and you talk about it and she's been recording those videos so it's really um uh, piqued me to want to go and clean up my stitchy stuff again when I get home because between <laughs> I got one pack everywhere right now <laughs> between the surgery and uh, we were gone for most of July and then now I've been here for the last three weeks um, and going into September the kids going back to school my stitchy stuff is it's like a tornado went off in there, so I really need to... Uh, You're waiting for September. Yeah, I am. I just can't wait to go home now. Just pull it all out and, and organize yeah. again. So maybe I can do an organizing video. Maybe that would be fun. Yeah, I can show you my absolute tornado state. Show the mess and show the before and after. Exactly, yeah. It was normally pretty clean. I usually oh, keep it well, normally now, I mean, pretty okay. organized, right? It's still all in yeah. piles. Get it off the floor up there. Mm. Right. I know, but still. Remember uh, that one, Abby. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> My daughter says that. That's a new two saying. Yeah. Um, so, yeah. So, go check out Linda. Hi, Linda. Richter Stitcher. And she has some lovely videos. Um, I am going to participate with uh, Lauren, the New Hampshire Stitcher. Hi, Lauren. Um, she has a hashtag back to school um, stitch along. So, it's a big, amazing project. <laughs> and... Um, I have picked something from Stitch is so beautiful. I think everybody has hit up this Etsy store in the last in the last little bit here. So it is um, the Blue Sea, which I'll post here, or By the Sea, which I'll post here. So I do have the Blue Sea kitted, and I started just in the corner to see if I would like the the colors. I think I have maybe a hundred stitches in it, and so far it's nothing but confetti. <laughs> so I'm thinking. <laughs> Uh, maybe this is not the bath that I want to take yeah. on. So it could be by the sea. Um, or I may also just pull out night lights that I've been doing, which I'll post a picture here um, for uh, from Andy Russell from um, oh my God, um, the Hade. Anyway, <clears throat> having an art design. Sorry, in a moment. Uh, so I'll pull that out and maybe put some stitches into that. So between one of the three. Maybe all three. Who knows? Um, I'm going to be participating in the back to school. So, um, 
And the other one that um, is a really good new um, hashtag that's out for a stitch along, it's the one length of thread per day project. So it's hashtag LOTD project, and that's by Lindsay at Cat Fur and Cross Stitch. She has an amazing channel. If you haven't seen her craft room tour from a couple of videos back, it's it's to die for. It's made me want to oh, what nice change deal. over my I don't, uh, my spare room. I don't room. remember the name so much. I know, like, yeah. But, I know. <laughs> but um, anyway, her the LOTD project is you stitch one thread, one strand or one thread into um, into a project every day, and then you just oh. post your project on it. Yeah. So if you have a, something that's stalled, just say like this one for me, the circuit caro. I haven't stitched a lot in this, so really that would be a perfect. Um, a perfect one for me. It's near monochromatic, and um, so what you do, you just pull out and do one one thread from the six, or you put all six in, whatever you decide, whatever you have time for. Okay. And um, yeah, so I thought that was really cool. Cool stitch along there, Lindsay, and good motivator for some of those things that have uh, have stalled for us, right? Um, and the last thing, okay, a couple more things. So stitchy kindness. I have received, I don't know what's at home now because I haven't been there for three weeks. So I, if I haven't responded back to you, it's just because I probably haven't seen it after something there. Um, but before I left to go away in July uh, to our acreage, I got a beautiful package from one of my viewers named Donna. So thank you, Donna, so much for that. I will review it in my next class too because I don't have it here. But she has made me some beautiful project bags. She put in... Um, some Halloween patterns from wow. yeah from Teresa Kogut like yeah. it it was just a beautiful beautiful package cool. and <clears throat> I know my husband was like oh my god like it was just so nice so for anybody that has sent me um, stitchy kindness and letters and things over the last um, the last couple of months it's just been absolutely crazy busy for me I haven't been home a lot um, so throughout September I will be sending back thank you cards and little um, little bits of stitchy kindness to all of you who thought about me. Since, yes. uh, yeah. since I had my surgery, so I haven't had time to do that, um, but yeah, that's, um, uh, but I will be doing that when I get back. <laughs> I'm sure you will. <laughs> <laughs> um, oh, I did want to highlight, I do have a start that I want to do, um, it's just, it's in the cross stitch stores right now, but I do want the PDF of it, so it's from the Blue Flower, I'll insert a picture here, and it's called Forest Home. It just has such a beautiful quote on it. Um, it's our roots run deep into the forest or something. It's a beautiful quote. I absolutely love it. I love so, the quote. <clears throat> yeah, so that one I will be starting soon. And if you want to check out her website at the Blue Flower Cross Stitching, um, she has the Forest Home, Autumn Bee, and the Spooky and uh, Autumn Smalls. And all three of them are so cute. And right now they're, they're listed as out of stock on her website, but they will be, um, you can order them through her um, her website. So those are three to go and check out. But I am going to start Forest Home as soon as that's available as a PDF download because I want to put it into Pattern Keeper. And um, something for next time. So, you know, please leave um, leave a comment. I love reading your comments. I've been a little bit um, remiss on being able to <laughs> reply back to everybody. Normally, I like to give a reply back to everybody that leaves a comment, but it's just been um, it's been a little bit busy with vacation here. I have liked all of the comments, and I will get back to reply back to you. Um, but for next time, what I would really like to do is a Q&A session. So if there is something that you want to know about uh, me or my stitching or um, questions, anything, just ask and I'll do a, in the comments below, put your question and then I'll do um, like an answer session next time in my next episode. I'll ask. Uh, I'll answer all of the questions. So, sure. if there's yeah. anything you want to know about where I grew up or how I started stitching or or anything like that, um, just ask away, and then I'll I'll take notes of all of the, you have, the questions. You have some pictures of Mary Stan, don't you? I do. Yeah, I've got yeah. lots of pictures here. So I'll uh, at the end here I'll insert a little montage of all the. Uh, we've been to several beaches and for dinner and my sister came for a few days so she was here with her uh, her husband so yeah. that would be nice to uh um, we've been out in the garden oh my mom is a beautiful <laughs> garden started this year yeah so my dad made the, a we started the greenhouse and yeah so we have everything growing out <clears throat> yeah it's really really nice Cat yeah turtle. might even have a pumpkin for october uh, I got one. It's coming. It's in progress. It's in progress. <laughs> it's tiny. <laughs> <laughs>
<laughs> it might be a tiny jack-o'-lantern, but you might have one. It's a widow. It's a widow. Yeah, exactly. I'm not finished. It's a work in progress. Yeah. yeah. Work in progress. Yep. Yeah. And yeah. Yes, I think that's about all. That's about all that I had. What did you? Uh... Just been feeling marvelous since you. Oh since yes. You, since Help I update. Like... I I can't say enough. I've been feeling so. So, so good. Um, the medications that I'm on now are working really well and um, just recovering wonderfully from the surgery. Yeah. So good reports from the doctor. I have more scans yeah. at the end of September. So fingers crossed for that. That's always a little bit stressful. Um, but the oncologist is happy with everything. She called me um, an anomaly <laughs> amongst her, her patients. So I, I can't ask for more. I want to be an outlier in that group. So. <laughs> Yeah, that's, <laughs> that's okay. Yeah, exactly. So Thanks to all of the I'm doctors and yeah. our neighbor just passed. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> He's got a little cute dog, Cinnamon. Cinnamon, yeah. Oh my gosh. He's yeah. a little toy poodle. And with, with, with Lori brought your little dog, uh, Sophie, home with us. Yeah, I'll Lori put a picture of Sophie in it then and too. Yes, yeah. and uh, it was... Lisa's dog on the first of it. Yes. yes. Yeah, and then yeah. my sister adopted so, her yeah. and when we were moving, and, and she's been happily spoiled over there too in Nova Scotia yeah. ever <laughs> since. So, yeah. yeah. <clears throat> so, all right. So, I think that's well, this it. This has been wonderful. Yes, it's so nice. Thank you. Oh, wow. <laughs> <laughs> all right. That's good. Thanks, Thanks everybody. Happy stitching. Happy stitching. <laughs>